it's showtime. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Nita, your favorite diva, and I am back for another movie review. This is Teal. This is the... This is the retelling of the lynching of the 14-year-old boy who started the civil rights movement back in the 1950s, okay? So um, this movie is very, 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 very heart-wrenching, to say the least. The story is heart-wrenching. Um, the reason why I decided to make this particular video today is because we got the Golden Globe nominations, and you know it's award season um, in the industry, in the entertainment industry, and she was nowhere, nowhere, and that is a miscarriage of justice, it is a travesty, it is just ridiculous, okay, so all that being said, I think that because this touches me a little differently, and so I will will admit that i am going to admit to that and there may be a bias that is in that and just the way i say it i feel like there is a bias with the other side of the coin okay so i'm gonna just let that be that and just leave it at that and let's go ahead and get into the review um it is directed by chingwa chuku she did clemency clemency was a fantastic movie um with aldous hodge and um alfrey woodard if y'all haven't checked it out check it out um she did a long walk as well it looks like this is her genre okay so um it is starring danielle deadwaller um she actually played in like a tyler perry he, she started out in tyler perry land and then we seen her in p valley and the heart of they fall but this definitely, those roles definitely do not speak to the talent that she put into this movie. Phenomenal. Jalen Hall, Haley B Bennett, Frankie Faison, Sean Patrick Thomas, Whoopi Goldberg, and a host of others. And so, um, let's see, it is classified as a biography, drama, and history. It clocks in at two hours and 10 minutes. It is rated PG-13, and the synopsis reads, In 1955, after Emmett Hill is murdered in a brutal lynching, his mother vows to expose racism behind the attack while working to have those involved brought to justice. And that is all I'm going to say because this is your spoiler-free review. And actually, I'm, I'm going to take that back. I'm going to take that back. This is not a spoiler-free review. This is history. So we just gonna talk fam okay let's talk to those of you who are new to my channel just finding me for the first time welcome and welcome back to my diva squad you know what we do here i give you the good bad and everything in between with no spoilers of course except for this movie review and then i let you know whether or not you should know or go see it in the theaters which is still it has a small run play like in the theaters that i looked at they may have one showing of this movie so it's at the tail end of its run and i think it's also on the streaming service so with all that said um let's just go ahead and get into it okay so the good kudos 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 for the powerhouse performance oscar worthy performance of danielle deadwaller while the director did not want to center this movie around emmett till even though it was it was definitely more about the mother. This was the mother's story and the tragedy that we all could imagine. That is definitely what was conveyed very well through her performance. Um, she is definitely a shoe in for best actress in a leading drama role, leading movie or whatever, for the win. This is her Oscar to lose. Ain't that what the, the critics say? This is her Oscar to lose. The type of tragedy and heart-wrenching emotions that she had to dig into and do for this performance, I can't say I can't I can't say enough. I can't say enough. It was so chilling, so thought provoking. The moments where she shrieked and fell and and then it just collapsed and then the quieter moments where you could see that she was more somber and thinking deeply of how to proceed on and 
how she's going to go about this whole tragedy that she is experiencing. Um, what I really loved about it is that it showed a mother's love. Um, I think that's why it touched me so deeply. Um, it's basically a case study on Mamie, a character study on uh, doting, diligent mothers who, you know, as you know, how you just worry as a parent, as a mother. Um, it was it was shown so evidently, and I think that's the key piece that really connects your heart in a more meaningful and deeper way. The screenwriters and the director did a phenomenal job in capturing the shots, showing the restraint in the brutality of the torturing of this young baby, this young boy, um, the aftermath of the lingering, however long, it didn't even matter how long it was, whatever, whatever was necessary to drive the point of this horrific tragedy to the audience. She honored that she committed to it. And that's just what it was. Young Emmett Till did a great job in his role. Now, he had a small screen time on the screen, okay? So he definitely had to capture our hearts with his bubbly personality, and he had to really make an impression on the audience in the small time that he had so that we could feel the impact of the tragedy that would um, serve to move the, the story further. It, it starts the mark of the civil rights movement. The director made sure... Um, to show this charm and naivete, foreshadowing the traumatic events to come. Okay, so anyway, the score was very effective. A tad bit, a little over dramatic for me, just a tad bit, just a tad bit. I, I saw what you was doing there. So, you know, like sometimes when you say overly dramatic, like if I can notice what you're doing, okay, all right. But they really pulled the emotions where they needed to pull it from. And they probably did it for these people because we already feel it. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's probably for that. Um, it really swelled and it where there was little di dialogue. So there was, you know, certain things that there was no dialogue, but the score did the heavy lifting. I could say um, that it could be a little bit emotionally manipulative to some. <clears throat> but for me, it was very, very effective. So let's get to the cons. I thought I thought it was very, very well executed. I didn't find many flaws, if at all. And it could be because I was so caught up in the in the movie. I was just caught up. I think this film is very triggering. It makes you feel disgusted, angry, disappointed, especially in, you know, just living in America. 3K, so get it. Okay, I wish the men would have stood up for young Emmett Till. And you know, when we talk about it's a very sensitive subject, y'all. We do know that black men are subjugated in America, in the world, or whatever. White supremacy reigns, okay? And you saw in this, and there was a moment where Mamie went to the house where he was taken from, and she noticed that they were armed and they had a shotgun in the house but they still allowed the white man to take them and didn't defend her baby at all. And that was a travesty in itself. And it speaks to um, the subjugation and the, I mean, it just is what it was. You know what I'm saying? Um, he said he was afraid. It just really infuriated me. It just shows just the, the level of where we are in this world and let it not be lost upon us exactly where we are okay um i just wanted them to stand for something and um yeah i just felt like it was it was it was sad to see um i don't know to me i would have died trying i don't know how that uncle could live with that like i wouldn't even be able to live with that like it, that's what i'm saying like for a mother or somebody like that. No, I would have died trying because there's no way that I would have been able to live with that. I don't, I don't understand it. And then he didn't have the nerve to attend a funeral. Bit. Anyway, so before I give you my overall thoughts on Teal, why don't you take a moment and follow me on my social media? It's right there. So for my overall thoughts on Teal, I thought it was a very well-directed 
and very well acted, definitely needs to be in the conversation for a few nominations, especially Danielle Deadwilder's performance, Oscar-worthy performance for lead actress. While the movie is centered around Teal, it is Mamie's, his mother's tragic story. While putting a mirror to America, three Ks, don't get this ugly face. The, the score was incredible. The production value was top notch and it captured the air very, very well. So it's definitely going to be a huge recommendation for me to see it in theaters or streaming, however you need to see it. But it's definitely um, a movie that our children should see, our children's children should see. You should know that this evil still exists in the world as is. And you really, really, really need to watch this movie. It is a case study, a think piece. It is true life events and it's something that you need to go see. I give it five out of five stars and definitely earns a spot on my top 10 best of 2022 list this year. And so for my deeper recommendations, I have Judas and the Black Messiah, Malcolm X, and The Best of Enemies. Well, that concludes it for my review of Teal. I hope you enjoyed it. Why don't you get down in the comments and chime in and let the diva know exactly how you're feeling. I know that this is a triggering thing and people don't like to see types of movies like this, but this is definitely worth a one-time viewing for all people. All. Across the board. Across the board. Okay? And that's all I got to say about that. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and make sure you come back. Bye!